Hello and welcome back. Before we start, I'm just going to give a quick recap because I'll admit the last two episodes haven't exactly been recorded to the best. I've had a few issues while recording, like, you know, deliveries arriving, my dog getting upset and whatnot. So, bottom line, we've come to this. Uh, Sparkles is now dead, Talk Dog is dead, and we are aware that this white pumpkin gentleman, who appears to be our host, is after the Enchanted Flint and Steel. And everyone's panicking. And there's no such thing as white How pumpkins. The white pumpkins hanging all over the place. Uh. I don't like it. I really don't. I actually saw him in the window when we first got here. You mean he's been in here the whole time? It's his house. He is obviously the host. And you know, running away and freaking out isn't going to help anyone. Dinner party. Yeah, to be fair, it was obviously dodgy. Like you know, actually, I realize now that it doesn't really make a difference if. Oh. What, what is. Oh! You better shut that door. Oh, jeez, that's a brave cat. Shut the door. How did you guys get in here? I thought I heard Sparkle say something about a flint and steel. Oh, please don't bring that up again. Well, obviously Talk Dog didn't steal it. Okay, but who then? Uh, Jesse? Let me guess, there's another Rex? Yeah, big shock. Well, I guess I'm next then. Oh, I didn't think of it nope, having an order. Not happening. But your inventory's clean, right? No flint and steel? Why would he want you? I suppose he's just being thorough. Also, I'm sure I've got something he wants. Well, I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for how the white pumpkin is doing all this. It's his house. He I probably mean, just trapped the whole, the whole place. place has got to be rigged with traps, right? Yeah. Torque dog, trap. Sparkles. Trap. Yeah, we need to find out what makes these traps tick. Or we just dig the house up. I mean, this is Minecraft. I mean, the traps are very All right, specific. Then investigate that dining room. Cool. I'll keep those guys in the hall for now so I can keep an eye on everyone. An excellent idea. Don't want them messing up the crime scene. Well, I'm sticking with you, Jesse. Doesn't seem safe to wander off alone. Good point. Okay, people, clear out. This is a crime scene! Okay, how are you doing this, White Pumpkin? Yeah, you know, if this is like Final Destination, couldn't we just kill the next person, the uh, last person on the list, and then everyone else goes away? <laughs> I know it's not gonna work like that, but it could pretty much save Ivor, because it would mess up the White Pumpkin system. Impressive. Anything? Nah, it looks like a regular old fireplace. I gotta admit, white pumpkin's pretty cool, actually. Didn't All I those chandeliers used glow. to be glowstone before they got their white pumpkin makeover. Uh, they they make definitely add atmosphere, but not exactly the good kind. Wait, so he was behind this looks the like the exact room. spot where the white pumpkin appeared, but now, just a portrait. It was something else Unless... Oh, it's just a costume. It's just a costume on an armor stand with a jukebox for the voice. No sign of how it was triggered. Wow. Well, either by level or by pumpkin what must have tip. some amazing redstone um, skills yeah. to rig up something like this. But why? It must have why taken a lot those? of work to rig up. They must have a reason for it. I think it was to scare us. A warning. No, wow. not a warning. Mission accomplished. People get... People do silly things when they're scared. Like, look at all those horror films. Someone gets scared, they run out into the open, they die. Man, poor Sparkles. It's like a hunting Crushed technique, under really. Sand. Oh, really nasty way to go. Like, friends, with a lot of um, animals, when you, when people hunt them, they first get a noise to get them out of their hiding spot, and then they shoot them. 
sad. Okay, but it's so this was the dining table where we were all gathered together right before. Huh. Okay, let's give this a shot. Just like before. Greetings, adventurers. I am the White Pumpkin. Yep. One of you is the treasure I desire, and I will not rest until it is mine, even if I have to resort to murder. Jesse! He's back! The White Pumpkin's back! Don't worry, everyone, it's just a dummy. A white pumpkin costume on an armor stand. Wait, what? Why? The trap that killed Sparkles, the whole show with the white pumpkin, it was all triggered by a button on the table. But what we does that mean? That. I am so creeped out right now. Understandably. It means that the white pumpkin sat at this very table and pushed the button. Wait, so you're saying that the white pumpkin is one of us? That's Probably right, two. Mr. Stampy. One of us is a murderer. No, that's how I'd do it. And I'd have an accomplice. Right oh. Wait, but that's not where Jesse found the button before. There's more than one? I'll see if I can find all of them. Oh, that is clever. Nice work, Jesse. That way yes. we have no way of knowing who it was. I am relieved to know that there's a logical explanation for what the White Pumpkin's been doing. So what now? Feels like we've made some good progress so far, though, right? I gotta say, this is quite fun. We like a murder need mystery. to pull together all our evidence and see how it connects. This is like that book, that and then numbers one. The white pumpkin that might not be the title, but it was the Agatha And the trap one. show that he's a real redstone expert. Okay, that's all of them. If you could all please take the same seat you were at before. They're not going to. of your seats are marked. These are the seats that had a button to activate the trap. That means the white pumpkin could only be Dan, Stampy, Lizzie, or Lucas. Wait, you're accusing us? Wait, what? I echo their sentiments exactly. I didn't even see a button. Me neither. This is crazy. It was the cat. Jeez, imagine it was just a cow all along. Hey, that would be hey I'm not accusing anyone. Yet. It sure sounds like you're accusing us, stranger. And I don't care for it. Calm I'm down, taking Stampy. charge now, and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I want everyone separated. I'm going to talk to each suspect one by one, so I can find out who's telling the truth and who's lying. I got a whole lot of questions, right, Holmes. and I want nice little matching answers for each and every one of them. Understand me? Loud and clear. Yes, crystal clear. Who are you going to interrogate first? Yeah, it's not Stampy, Stampy Cat. Couldn't we just ask who was the first person in the mansion? Jesse, I'm telling you, this is just crazy! Absolutely crazy! Total misunderstanding! You're hiding something, Stampy. I don't even want that flint and steel thingy! Not um, as much as the others, at any rate! Did I hear someone saying that it has something to do with portals? I don't have any interest in portals. No, sir. Not for old Mr. Stampy Cat, thank you. It's me, Stampy! Everyone's friend! Uh. I gotta say, Stampy, you seem nervous. Everything okay? You comfortable? Um, what? No, I'm not nervous. Nope, totally comfortable. I could fall asleep right here, right now. I'm that comfortable, honestly. Please, just tell me what you want to know. What do you know about redstone? What's your skill level with the stuff? Well, well, well you know, like about average, average level, moderate. I, I don't know how these things are graded these days. I know that Dan's been getting really into the stuff lately, though. Just putting that out there, in case you're curious. Dan's what? interested in redstone, huh? Okay, enough dancing around. Who do you think took the flint and steel? I don't think it was ever actually stolen. Oh? Yeah, so Dan got it ahead of Lizzie, right? And she was pretty angry about it. I think he made up that story about it being stolen, so she'd think he didn't have it anymore. 
Classic damn move. Know anything about this? Oh, wow! What is that? Some sort of magic arrow? No, I've never seen anything like it before. Honest. You know who would love to see something like that, though? Lizzie. She's wild about potions and brewing and all of that. She's way better with that stuff than I am. Good with potions, you say? Very good. Could probably even teach a class. <laughs> I'm not sure if he's done it or not. You're excused, Stampy. Thank you for your time. He's throwing oh, everyone else under the bus. Goodness. This room's making me very nervous. And he seems very jittery, but that could all just be an act. Who's up next? Can you send Dan in, please? Right. See, here's the thing about these murder mysteries. There's always like some tiny detail right at the end that reveals who it was. I mean, there are hints, hey, but we I never know for certain. Told you, but I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. Honest. I would never hurt anyone. You've got to believe me. If anyone's been wronged here, it's me. That enchanted flint and still everyone's talking about? I found that. That's mine. At least it was before someone stole it. So you had it at one point. And now everything's gone completely crazy. People getting caught in horrible traps, everyone accusing and blaming each other. That's why you invited everyone here, huh? To find out who stole it? What? No, 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 no. I didn't invite anyone. That's not what's going on. I was invited here, same as everyone else. Uh-huh. I'm not the White Pumpkin. You've got to believe me. What can I tell you to convince you? Tell me who did it. Out with it. Who stole the flint and steel? Oh, well, Lizzie, obviously. She was jealous. Never got over the fact that I found it first. So, how do you rate your redstone knowledge? Me? Oof, not much. Not really my scene. Really? You want to know more about that stuff? You should ask Stampy. He was the tri block champion. Weird. Hmm. Stampy said that you were pretty into redstone. <laughs> what? No, he's got me confused with someone else. I'm sure of it. Now, Lizzie, though, I've seen her do some amazing things with redstone. Interesting. Between Stampy you and said me, she was good with I wouldn't potions. be surprised if she was the one behind all of this. But if she could with bow. Know anything about this? Oh, wow. Uh, no, I've never seen anything like that before. No? Tipped arrows not ringing a bell? Made using potions? Nuh-uh, but you want to know about stuff with potions? I'll ask Lizzie. She's way better with that stuff than I am. Jeez, imagine if I just went on one of their you YouTube now, channels man. and it's just like, I was the Thanks, killer. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you. And when you talk to Lizzie, don't forget to ask her about those crazy magic arrows. I bet she'll know something. Want me to send in Lizzie? That'd be great. Thanks, Petra. <laughs> I'm finding having an assistant suits me. Jesse, listen. There's been a lot of talk thrown around today. I don't know what people have told you. I don't know what you believe. But I'll just admit it. I want that enchanted flint and steel as much as anyone. Uh -huh. Probably more than any of them. I've been searching for it for years. Do you know how much it stung to have Dan? Dan, swoop in and take it from under my nose. So aggravating. Hang on, I thought you said you found it. Well, I as good as found it. I did the research, I did the studying. I was all prepared to go in there and finally get it when that little goggle-wearing goon swept in and stole it first. Listen, I just want to get out of here and get on with my day. What do you have to hear to be convinced that the whack pumpkin isn't me? You like using redstone? Ever make traps with the stuff? I'm fine, I guess. I can make lights and doors and stuff. You want to do advanced stuff? You gotta talk to Stampy. He was the tri block champion. Or is that so two heard. people? I'm just gonna be straight. Who do you think stole the flint and steel? Well, it wasn't me, if you're curious. If I had an enchanted flint and steel, I'd be off exploring some other world with it. Between you and me, though, I think Dan's whole story about it being stolen from him is a load of trash. I bet he's still got it. Yeah, he's not the first person. Know what this is? Tipped arrow. Kind of shoddy work, though. Definitely not one of mine, if that's what you're wondering. Some noob made that thing. What? Yeah, I knew what a tipped arrow was. I'm a good brewer. Doesn't mean it's mine. I taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those ages ago. No, because everyone else seems to think otherwise. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, 
Everyone I ask says that you're the only one with the skills here to make something like this. Okay, sure. Of the people here, maybe. Doesn't make me the white pumpkin, though. And Plural. I'm not sure I like you implying otherwise. Thanks for your time, Lizzie. That's all for now. Okay, so we've got oh, two lies. On. This is nuts. You had a button, too. Fair's fair. It's your buddy's turn next. Fair enough. I want Petra to go watch them, then. Hey, Jesse. Ah, my final suspect. Here to point more fingers and blame more people, I'm sure. I didn't push the button, you know. I figured. Thanks, though. How's it been going in here? It is just non-stop whispering and rumors out there. Me, Petra, and Ivor pretty much been sticking to ourselves. Well, it's been rough. These people have so much drama going on, it's hard to tell what's about the flint and steel, what's about the white pumpkin. Well, I know you can do it. Thanks for believing Thanks, me. Lucas. And on that sappy, happy note, we're going to end the episode. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed. Please like, go to subscribe if you have, and goodbye.